constitution, Tommy. <laughs> if you haven't taken your medication yet, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> They're back at 12. Back at 12, yeah. No. How are you, Mr. Williams? I'm real fine. I'm... <laughs> Look at this thing. Look, flipper. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, there's a sound man going, what are you doing? Oh, God. I better relax, relax, relax. It's okay. I'm on TV. Just... You're a nice man. You won't hurt me. No, no. No, no. <laughs> All right, let me just one sec. I'm certain. It's okay. Thank you. Don't be afraid. It's just not... not... Uh, the sores went away. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see Johnny Carson's utter delight. You know, just sitting back, watching Robin Williams do what he did. That was his first appearance with Johnny Carson back in 1981. Uh, we now can tell you that the police are set to hold a news conference. It's going to happen later today. The actor, as you know, was found dead in his home of an apparent suicide. Mike Walters is the news director for TMZ. And we also have with us clinical psychologist Howard Samuels, who's the founder of the Hills Treatment Center in Malibu, California, that has helped a lot of people uh, in some of these similar situations. Uh, but, Mike, I want to go to you first, because I understand that you have some, some breaking news that we are just learning about this suicide. What can you tell us, Mike? I can tell you we've just confirmed uh, it was definitely a hanging inside of his residence in Tiburon, California. Only a few weeks ago, Robin actually checked himself into Hazleton, a rehab facility in Minnesota. And I can tell you, I spoke to people that were around him uh, at the time that he entered the facility, and they said he had not fallen off the wagon. He just was struggling and internalizing that addiction. Uh, Howard, when you listen to all that, what goes through your mind? Well, what goes through my mind is that he should never have left Hazleton. I mean, thousands and thousands of Americans suffer from alcoholism and depression. There are two major issues here. The first thing is that you need to go into a treatment center to be stabilized with your alcoholism and your addiction so you can get into recovery and sober. But then comes a more difficult part at diagnosing what the chemical imbalance is that's going on in the brain. Now, you really need to be in treatment three or four months and stabilized, not only in recovery, but on the medication that you're even, that you're not depressed anymore or you're not having any other symptoms like bipolar, mania, depression. And so until that happens, then you're released from the treatment center. And what's so tragic and sad here, it seems like he left way too early. Yeah, it sure does. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Howard. Good to have you both with us today. Okay.